I'm not saying that all cops are bad, but the problems with the police are much more widespread than Trump is acknowledging. Because every single time, every single time a police department gets audited or investigated, the results that come back time and time again show deep rot and systemic issues often from the top. It's like turning on a black light in a hotel room. There's no way you're only gonna find one stain. And unlike Mitt Romney, who was marching in Washington over the weekend saying Black Lives Matter, Trump has never expressed support for the Black Lives Matter movement. And yesterday, his press secretary claimed that Trump doesn't need to say Black Lives Matter because his support with black people is overwhelming. Kelly, does he agree in general the way that Mitt Romney stated over the weekend he does with the core message of Black Lives Matter? Yeah, Mitt Romney um, can say three words outside on Pennsylvania Avenue, um, but I would note this, that President Trump won 8% of the black vote. Mitt Romney won 2% of the black vote. Okay, firstly, that's bullshit. Romney didn't get 2% of the black vote. He got 6% while running against the only black president ever. But either way, this is just sad. I can't even believe this is a thing. You're gonna brag about getting 8% of the black vote? Really? 8% out of 100? Bragging about getting 8% of the black vote is like some loser bragging to his friend, like, you know how Susie said she just sees you as a friend? Well, she told me she sees me as an older brother. So, Trump's position on the protesters, around him defending the police, around Black Lives Matter, it seems pretty clear. But, but just in case, you were willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Well, this morning, the President of the United States tweeted this. President Trump is questioning the motives of the 75-year-old activist shoved to the ground by Buffalo police officers during a protest last Friday. The President tweeted, Martin Gugino could be an Antifa provocateur, and said, I watched. He fell harder than was pushed. Could be a setup. Gugino remains in serious but stable condition at the hospital. This is one of the more alarming tweets we have ever seen from President Trump. It appears to be based on a news clip uh, from the One America News Network, which is a network for conspiracy theory kooks. Gugino is a longtime peace activist and volunteer for Catholic Worker, which is a movement dedicated to justice and peace. Yeah. Trump is so desperate to defend the police that instead of admitting that maybe they used excessive force and that none of them helped a person who was bleeding out on the ground, he turns around and blames the old man from that video for being an Antifa provocateur who busted his head open on purpose. And I mean, I can't believe that I actually have to say, but like that is some batshit crazy theory. Let me tell you something. If someone came up to me with a plan that involved me busting my head open on the sidewalk, I would ask them to come up with a better plan. I mean, how do you look at that video, see that old man, and think that he's an Antifa provocateur? You think that old man is causing chaos? Who sees that? Like, I I feel like Trump is the kind of person who watched the movie Up and he thinks it's a story about an elderly terrorist who hijacks a balloon house. But I guess with this tweet and everything else that Trump has said and done over the past couple of weeks, Trump has clearly picked which side he is on in this debate. And I mean, forget about 8% of the black vote. If this is Trump's attitude towards reforming the police, well, there's no kente cloth in the world big enough to make up for it.